How about I go? How about I go there? How about I go there? How about I go where? How about I go here? How about I go here? How about now? How about I go? What is the Florida tax deed redemption period and how does it work? Welcome back. There's plenty of confusion when it comes to tax deeds and tax lien certificates in Florida. So let's see if we can clear some of it up and let's see if we can make some step-by-step -step process so you understand it. Before I get into the distinct differences, I'll review tax lien certificates, what it is, and I'll review what a tax deed is so that we've clarified it. We got that part nailed down and then we'll get into the process of what Florida does compared to the other states, okay? So most people will give you advice about tax liens and tax certificates, and I'm not saying that they don't know anything, but people are trying to give advice. Some of them are old people, some of them are young people, some are your, your relatives. They all want to tell you what the difference in these certificates are. Now, I don't know that they're giving you the right information. Why don't I know that? Because I don't know if they've studied it and understand it themselves. So there's a lot of confusion about tax lien certificates and tax deeds. A tax deed is nothing more than the county transferring a property to an individual. It's that simple. A tax lien certificate, you don't get a transfer of the property. All you're going to receive is income on a certificate. So the county sells a certificate and that certificate is really a lien, an encumbrance against the property. You own the certificate, and the only right you have, you have no right to the property, the only right you have is a right to earn interest on that certificate. So what's important to realize here is that there's a lot of people are not qualified because they haven't studied this business. So you may want to help yourself out and learn how to do it because all the information you're getting is probably bad advice and they didn't intend it to be bad, but it ends up that way. So there's plenty of opportunity in the business. There's going to be thousands and thousands of tax lien certificates. I'm going to always recommend get yourself a coach or a mentor. They'll accelerate your success. And I suggest you really think about that. So I'm Ted Thomas. I've been involved in tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property for over 30 years. It's not a complex business. It's a relatively simple one, but people confuse it because there's so many people giving out information on it. The county needs money. So what will the county do? Well, someone will go into default. They will send them a default notice, just a big default notice, and that's called due process. They let them know what they're going to do. In other words, the county's going to tell the property owner what's going to happen. Or if the property owner doesn't pay the tax, now the county has a problem. So what they do is they sell a tax lien certificate. It's nothing more, I'm reaching for one here. It's nothing more than a piece of paper like I'm holding up. All right, so now that piece of paper, they're going to sell that. All right, when you buy a tax certificate, you did that by raising your hand. You, you, you bought it at auction, and then you pay the amount of the tax certificate to the local government. Now, that allows the government to pay their bills. So the government's now happy. What about you? Well, you're going to wait. You're just going to, it's a passive investment. You're just going to sit on your rusty dusty. You're not going to do anything. Meanwhile, what's the government doing? They're paying the school teachers. They're paying the firefighters, paying the police department, sheriff department, paying the county employees. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. You're sitting on your rusty dusty. And depending upon where you're buying those certificates, you can be earning 16, 18, 24, all the way up to 36% on your money. Now, who made all this possible? Well, the legislature of the state makes the rules. They tell the county, push all the rules down to the county supervisors and either that or the county commissioners. They tell the sheriff and they tell the tax collector, look, levy the tax, collect the tax. If you can't collect it, send out a tax lien certificate. Now, they're going to pay you because you help pay the county bills. You're going to, they're going to make sure that you can earn 16, 18, 24, all the way up to 36% interest, depending upon which state that you're going to buy it in. So tax lien certificates pay outrageous amounts of interest. You'll either get paid. If you don't get paid, you're going to get the property. It's as simple as that. You'll either get paid or you'll get the property. So only two things can happen on a tax certificate. Only two. Absolutely no more than that. All right. So the owner has not paid the tax. So the county has sold their tax to you. All you do is hold that certificate in the hopes of getting paid. If you don't get paid, the county is already telling you by covenant you will get the property. So in the event the certificate is unpaid, you're going to end up as a property owner. That means you should do some due diligence. All right, so the owner of the certificate 
very rarely will become the owner of the property. Why? Because 95, 97% of the certificates, according to the counties, where people will come in and pay their certificate. They don't want to lose their property. So they come in and pay the original amount that the, of the certificate plus a high interest rate. All right, now Florida covers many counties, 67 of them, with tax lien certificates. Every one of the 67 counties sells tax lien certificates. So anybody can buy them. There'll be at least a million certificates available just in the state of Florida in the average year. One million certificate. All right, so what do you what do you get when you get a certificate? You get nothing more than a piece of paper. You have no rights to that property. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state in the next 90 days. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm going to show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and Auction Calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction 24-7. All right, now what you just looked at was all the tax defaulted properties. I couldn't even put there's so many tax lien certificates, I couldn't get them all up on that map, but you're getting the idea. So there's a lot of tax defaulted properties. All right, now the county's a small population county. There'll be a few dozen or maybe a hundred tax defaulted properties they'll sell. All right, well, the large counties, well, they're going to have hundreds, maybe even thousands of properties they're going to sell. So if they have tax lien certificates, you can multiply those by, by tenfold. All right, so small population counties, small group, large population, large group of tax defaulted property. All right, now I've seen as many as, as 65,000 certificates in Dade County. I've seen over 100,000 certificates in Cook County attending an auction there. All right, so all of this process has been going on for decades. It's always done by the county treasurer. All right, so what are you going to do? You can do either tax lien certificates or tax defaulted property. What's this episode about? This episode is answering the question, Florida tax deed redemption period. How does it work? Well, with tax lien certificates, there's a redemption period. With tax deed, it's a final sale. So we're going to talk a little bit about that redemption period in just a minute. So the property owner will stay in possession for the whole time that they're in default with a tax lien certificate. So the property owner does not move from the property. They stay on the property even though they're in default. Now, tax redemption simply means that they're going to come in and pay the certificate. All right. So in most states and in most counties, it's three years. In Florida, it's only two years. So that means that property owner in Florida has two years to get their act together, get their money together, come in and redeem the certificate. In other words, come in and pay for the certificate, whatever the, the investor paid, plus the interest. Whatever the investor paid, plus the interest. They have to pay every dime of it. If they miss it, they're not paid. They have to pay 100%. So redemption simply means that the delinquent property owner is going to come forward with a full amount of money that not only pays the certificate, but pays the interest, and they're going to pay that to the county, and then the county will pay it to the individual that bought the certificate. All right, this is an alternate investment that's been around for hundreds of years. The counties devised it so they could get money in because people didn't pay the taxes. They kind of forced them to pay the taxes. If they didn't pay the tax, then a property or an investor could come in and pay the tax for them. Now the investor could make money and the county could get money to pay the county bills. All right, taxes pay all of the county bills. Property taxes pay the county bill. Now, I'm not in the business of giving you legal advice. I'm not an advisor. I'm not a broker. I'm not a CPA. I'm just an individual that buys and sells in the mar marketplace. I'm an author and I'm a guide that teach people how to do this. So keep in mind, if you need an attorney and you need to get professional advice, you have to go to a professional advisor. You don't want to get that on a YouTube video, that's for sure. Because I'm not qualified to tell you about the law and it would be against the law if I even, even thought about that. All right, so if you're looking for a pretty decent return, tax lien certificates could pay 16, 18, 24, up to 36%. So let's not, let's not say that we're in the best market in the world. Let's kind of think about it. I'm not a pessimist in any way, but I'm not going to sugarcoat the deal either. So don't kid yourself. 
If you think you're going to make the big money that you need in the future, well, then you need to get a specific system that you're going to follow step by step to do it. I'm not so sure that's going to be a bank, and I don't know if that's going to be the stock market. There's a lot of up and down in that stock market. If you're ready for that, that's good. It's okay. All right. If you want to put your money in the bank, that's okay. But with tax lien certificates, you're going to have to learn a little bit about it. All right. So in my opinion, you're probably not, not going to do this at a local bank. All right. Now, I'm not a preacher of doom and suggesting that you're in for scratching like the chicken does trying to find something to eat. You're not going to have to do that. All right. There's plenty of opportunities, but you're going to have to open your eyes up to what's going on. All right. Tax deeds are a piece of paper, nothing more than a piece of paper that the government is going to use. It's called a deed and they're going to deed the property to a new owner. All right. That means you are now responsible for that property. That means you're going to have to pay taxes, pay electrical, pay water, anything to do with the property. You'll have to do that. Tax lien certificates. That doesn't mean you get a property. All you do is get a right to income and then you get a right to the property if they don't pay the income. So once you receive a deed, you're going to have ownership of a property. Once you receive a tax lien certificate, you only have a right to get money. And if you don't get money, you have a right to get the property. So that's what they're talking about when they talk about redemption. Redemption means when you buy a tax lien certificate, they can come forward and they can pay you. And when they do pay, if they pay you the full amount, then they're redeeming their certificate. So what you, what you gained was you gained a high interest rate. All right. So it always goes to the highest bidder. Uh, at a tax auction. How about I go? How about I go there? How about I go there? How about I go where? How about I go? How about I go here? How about now? How about I go? Not necessarily at a tax lien certificate auction. Tax lien certificates, like in Florida, are bid down. They're bid down. They start at 18, 17 and a half, 17, 16 and a half, like that. Each state has their own rules, and you don't need to learn all that. All right. But when you go to a tax defaulted auction, the county treasurer is going to issue you a deed. It's going to be a quit claim deed. You can write that down. I didn't say quick meaning fast. I said quit, Q-U-I-T, stop. All right, it's going to be a quit claim deed. What is that all about? Well, I can tell you right now, you need to understand that. If you don't understand that, you're going to miss the vote because a quit claim deed simply means when the county issues that and sends it to you, they're not warranting the condition of the property. That means you can look at the property. All right, so if you don't buy it, you haven't looked at it, they're not warranting the condition and they're not guarantee title is free of defects. All right. So there's no guarantee that the f title is clear. So now you got to look at the condition and you got to do something about the title. That's all has to do with tax deeds. My name is Ted Thomas. I'm going to suggest if you want an auction list and see what an auction list looks like and, and have one, you can just go right below me and, and you can order an auction list. If you're a tax deed buyer, I'm going to tell you, as I do on all videos, look at the property before you buy. Don't buy and pray you get a good property. I've had so many people, they buy a property, get there, it's a junkyard. Or they get there, it's a house that's burned down. Or there's been a hurricane, or there's been a flood, or it's next to a pig farm. You don't want that to be you. I'm Ted Thomas. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.